Hey guys, B Height here. Just got finished up with uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Beautiful La Crosse, Wisconsin FLW Super Tournament, the second one of the year. Uh, you know, this place is, it, it's a really, really neat place. It really didn't show its color this week. It's kind of, kind of in a funk, but uh, I'm going to give you guys kind of a rundown of how I caught them this week and how I didn't catch them. And, uh, you know, I mean, this place is like a super shallow delta kind of style fishing lots of current and usually lots of bass but it's really really tough to uh to get a bite this week uh you know i fished in pool eight which is the pool that we that we launched out of um and you know i mean it, it's it's a fun fun place to fish you can do a lot of different things here and like i said it's uh it's just a shallow grass water fishery it really suits my style but obviously it didn't then this week I like to take a day off give you guys let my mind settle give you guys a good aspect of exactly what happened um, first of all what what did I catch them on we're gonna break it down pretty simple you guys would never have guessed but I caught them on a 3 8 ounce jackhammer with the M Moto Zocco I even still have some grass here on it um, green pumpkin with the B height delight 3 8 ounce 20 pound FC sniper fluorocarbon um, you know, just running grass lines. All these baits, I'm, I'm running around grass with little sandbars, um, undercut banks, places where they kind of get in out of that current and be able to feed. Uh, so, <clears throat> 7 3 heavy action jackhammer special rod. I'm using a Steeze 6 3 to 1. Uh, you know, I, that, that's just my standard setup. You guys know that. You guys have heard me talk about it a million times. Um, just a good bait. I've probably caught about half my fish on on just the standard jackhammer this week. Uh, and then coming up next uh, is a couple different baits here. This one really shined for me on the second day, and that's the Flat Force Evergreen Flat Force. Spoiler alert! I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to show you. This is a new color that's coming out. It's a, it was a JDM color, but it's gonna be out this, uh, this spring in the flat force. It's kind of like a green olive crawl. Uh, you know, it, they like green stuff here on, uh, on the, uh, the Mississippi River. But it's just a good kind of green colored uh, crawdad with the orange belly. This is a color, like I said, it was a JDM color that we're bringing to the US. And like I said, it's a little kind of a spoiler. I was using 12 pound FC Sniper Sunline Fluorocarbon, my 7-1 medium action um, Evergreen Combat Series stick. And that just has a really, really good parabolic bend, allows you to cast these light baits really, really well. And I'm using the Tatula SV and a 6-3 to 1. Um, you know, the SV, the wind is blowing the last couple days. You can cast that light bait right in the wind, never get a backlash. And just winding that on riprap and around those uh, the grass edges caught a, quite a few nice ones on it the second day the next one is of course the eye cast winning bait of the year uh, and that's the stealth blade jackhammer stealth blade uh, was winding that just kind of I'm just kind of picking those up randomly in between you know if I don't get a bite on this one I'll pick this one up and caught uh, quite a few nice ones on that too. This is a half ounce, I was fishing this one a little bit deeper, caught a bunch of smallmouth. What I like about this bait, I'm throwing on 16 pounds so I can downsize even to like a 12 if I wanted to. Um, has that nano coated hook, is a little bit thinner wire, still just a regular uh, Yamamoto Zako green pumpkin trailer, a little chartreuse on the tail. And I'm still just throwing that on uh, my standard jackhammer rod with a again the steez a um, bait caster but just an awesome all-around bait i mean that thing it has a tighter tighter vibration but the bass just love it and finally i i really can't show you guys this but there it is it has the m uh uh zocco kicker tail on it or paddle tail but this is the evergreen uh swim jig that i've been working on for the last i don't know about a year or so and it's going to be coming out soon uh, it's going to be anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an ounce you're going to have three eighths i've been throwing three eighths all week uh, there's some similarities of the jackhammer in it 
that's all I can tell you but uh, it catches fish it's an unbelievable swim jig and I was throwing it on the new 7-2 medium heavy uh, it's a reaction uh, it's a shower blows reaction versatile rod 7-2 medium heavy it has a good parabolic action I was throwing it on uh, 20 pound FC sniper sunline fluorocarbon and the new Tatula Elite and I was throwing on the 7-1 Tatula Elite this, ro this reel if you want a casting reel the Tatula Elite's the one it's super super tight I've been using all year Steel still feels identical to when I took it out of the box so like I said a little disappointed in my performance this week the first day really really hurt me um, I only had four the first day if I would have caught that fifth one I would have got a good check but you know it's just been one of those years 2020 we're gonna remember this as the the Rona virus year and there's been a lot of quirky stuff happen but you know we're gonna get through it looking forward to 2021 we still got one more big event plus the US Open and uh, you know we're just gonna keep our head down and uh, try to win one of these last ones so you know stay tuned and uh, I know we're gonna do it <laughs>